coral reef is the most exciting place you can possibly be on the face of the earth. 72% of all the corals in the West Pacific occur on the Great Barrier Reef. A healthy reef is surprisingly uh, really noisy. All the little animals, all the little tiny critters, they continually chatter to each other, and a lot of fish do too. At least a third, and it may be well over a half, of all marine species have some part of their life cycle in a coral reef. Corals are a very ancient group of animals. They were once wiped out and corals have been building these massive reefs ever since the earliest dinosaurs roamed the earth. So some of coral reefs are a thousand meters thick. Corals have a lot of color because they have algae in their tissues. Corals and their algae are addicted to each other. They depend on the algae for most of their food intake. If there's no coral reef, you have an ecological collapse of the oceans. And my fear is that this is now in process. The big animals have gone, and a lot of the life that once made reefs so interesting, is just not there anymore. When I first started diving on reefs, I thought the Great Barrier was so big that it didn't even need protecting, it was, it was there forever. Uh, then I saw the first signs of deterioration in the corals, and that was due to bleaching. It's not part of the normal evolution. Bleaching has probably not occurred before for hundreds of thousands of years. Gradually, as the temperature increases, so does the frequency of bleaching. If they had any uh, adaptation, to what's going on now, they wouldn't bleach. Most reefs of the Great Barrier Reef are severely damaged now. I believe we have lost six species already completely extinct on the Great Barrier Reef. All reefs can, in theory, bounce back. We have to hope that things will not continue to deteriorate as they are, that there will be enough left of the Great Barrier Reef to come alive again once the present levels of carbon dioxide come down. So that's the thing now, is to keep enough reef to be there when conditions get okay again. Now that may be well over 100 years time, but all the research that's been done towards keeping corals either alive in aquaria or alive in some artificial conditions, even their DNA, it's very important that this, this work is done because who knows, a hundred years from now, we may be able to repopulate the Great Barrier Reef and it'll be a Great Barrier Reef all over again.